The Hive Cluster is under attack. Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Redor Remastered. Today it's going to be Flash and it's going to be Jadong in a best of three from RJB. Are we surprised who sent this to me? No. You got to check him out at youtube.com slash at RJB underscore TV if you like StarCraft and especially fastest maps. So top right of Fighting Spirit, we have our guy Flash. And in the bottom right, it is Jadong. So the best Terran player of all time, the best Zerg player of all time in a best of series today. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, lads? No, this is real. I'm not making this up. This is not being posted on April the 1st, actually. It is being posted instead on some other day. I don't know when. I'm casting it probably a week or so in advance. Maybe more, but regardless. Regardless, we got Terry the Overlord moving out. What up, Terry? Famous for being on merchandise at Falcon Paladin Dot Store. We got Steve the SCV working hard, building a supply depot all by himself. Steve the SCV stuff is at Falcon Paladin Dot Store too. Ah, are you kidding me? What an insane, insane, insanely good game this is already. All right, so. We have seen Flash face off against Jadong previously on this channel about two weeks ago. You guys seem to really love it. So we're back. We're back with more of this stuff. Is this, this is a recent replay too. Because it is. Because this is the name that Flash has been using to smurf on the ladder over the last couple weeks. Let's see if I can find this real quick. Yeah, here it is. Flash of Jadong, best of three from ladder, he says. Played consecutively. That's amazing. God, RJB, you're so cool. I love you. I love you so much. I would say you have my babies, but I already have babies. Anyway. Anyway, Zerg player going for the hatch first. Fine. Terran player going for what looks like a one rax expand. Time a Rooney, saving up those minerals for that purpose regardless. Steve trying to find Zerg. Terry trying to find Terran. They are both missing each other. Missing connections. And definitely going to expand here. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. But yeah, recent stuff, man. I think these were played. God, I want to put a date on these. Yeah, like June 15th. June 15th. That's what these games are from. Bonkers. Bonkers. Yeah, it's kind of a funny story. So this barcode shows up on the Korean ladder and starts, like, beating people like Snow and Jadong and Rain and, you know, Sharp and Queen and stuff. And they're like, who is this barcode? And they figured out it was Flash. Analyzed the replays. You can do this thing where you can check hotkey bindings and hotkey usage and stuff to figure out who's who. And tendencies and stuff, and this is Flash. So, that's cool. We live in the future, man. A little bit of a marine move out here against the hatch first and the fast lair. And, uh... So, Jadong doesn't have anything to kill these marines except for two lings that are busy chasing an SCV right now. So, okay. Surprise! Oh! Two lings did pop in. Wow. Look at this timing. This is mean. Look at this. SCV here to body block two. Probably not enough marines to kill this hatchery, but nice target. Urgh. Behind the mineral line, so it's even harder. And you can't put any dudes here because they're behind the mineral line. And he's building a bunker back here? Are you kidding me? Flash, this is so mean. All right, Jadong says, screw this. We gotta get in here. We gotta get in here before this bunker finishes. And, oh, nice. That was actually pretty clean. Pretty clean clear out by Jadong. He had to make way more lings than he wanted to. He lost a ton of mining time on a second base. Meanwhile, Flash the second base is super happy and healthy and everything. Mm, Bunker coming up to try to with, deal with the lings that are definitely on their way because if you make this many lings, ooh, trying to go for a Jadong run by, kind of. These SCVs are sacrificing their lives, so these lings can't. <gasps> and that's a GG. Oh no. Oh no! 
Jade Hong with a counterattack of Lings gets the win after the early marine pressure I thought was putting Jade Hong in a terrible spot. Dude, Flash, you made Jade Hong make those Lings. You knew he had them. I think he was late on the bunker. And I think he just didn't respond well here either. The SCVs are body blocking. Get those Marines out and attack those Lings. So they can't just get inside your base. Look, Jadong Lings are dangerous. Even if there's just two of them, this is nine. Nine Lings inside your base is no bad. Super, super terrible stuff. So, excellent. Uh, quicker than I expected game one, to be honest with you. You probably feel the same way. But yeah, that's sometimes how StarCraft is. Sometimes you go for an early attack, it doesn't work, and then the counterattack kills you. And sometimes your early attack works. It's kind of a back and forth thing. 7,000 points to 6,000 points in favor of Jadong. He ends up uh, 11 to 7 killing dudes there, and uh, resources don't matter. So cool. All right, that's game one in the books. I hope game two is longer, and hopefully we get a game three. So... Stick with it. We've got more StarCraft coming. Game two is on Polypoid. Top right, Terran. Bottom left, it is Zerg. Yeah, I did not expect that counterattack to just win the game. It kind of felt like maybe it could deny the natural. But winning the game outright was not on my bingo card. That's for sure. All right, what do we got here? More ZVT action. Jadong has been laddering, and Flash really hasn't been for the last little while. So Jadong has an advantage. Flash is a bit rusty. Uh, I did cast a Flash versus Bisu, best of five, last week sometime. So if you missed that, be sure to go back and check it out. It's awesome. It's super fun. I'm feeling like it's probably going to be the most watched thing on my channel this month. So if you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. It's great. Super great. Man, I love this track. StarCraft music. Terran especially. Got a little SCV ASMR here. Got a little synth action. And it kicks it up a notch. This just takes me back. It takes me back to being like a 16 year old, just super fresh and new to StarCraft. I'm at my friend's house in his basement. He's got a little land set up down there. I've hauled my CRT and my power to his house so we can play with a bunch of other friends and we all loaded up and the graphics are awesome and the music is so good and our minds are blown and that was it that was the start of my love affair with this game I pretty quickly decided I like Zerg the best because you can make a lot of units fast and they were fast I didn't have the patience for like more steady Terran mech or Protoss attacks I just wanted to be fast. And that's what I got. You know, in exchange for being squishy, obviously. Yeah, I remember the first time I saw an Archon. I had a base up, and I think we were doing a free-for-all or something. One of the first games we ever played, I think, was a free-for-all. And we were just messing around at the tech tree, right? So this guy just is like, hmm. Just going up and going up in the tech tree. Builds an Archon. He's like, this guy is cool. He just, like, A-moves it over to my base. It's the first time we got A-moving, because Warcraft uh, 2 didn't have A-moving. Quality of life improvements exist in Brood War, you guys, compared to earlier games. Just keep that in mind. Anyway, and I was like, what is that giant ball of energy going blah, blah? And I was like, what? And I think it, like, killed most of my army, because I was just like, what? And by most of my army, I mean I had, like, two hiders and a ling, probably, at that stage of the game. Anyway, enough nostalgia from Falcon. What's going on here? One racks expand. Versus hatch first. 100 gas goes to lair. We know what this is, right? This is not the aggression of game one. 
These Marines are not moving out. These Marines are hanging back. Yeah, I mean, this is every ZVT you've seen in the last several months, right? I guess the macro hatch is not incredibly standard, but it's pretty common. Indicates we're going to see more Mutalisks here than the standard 5 or 6 on the open. But yeah, first 100 gas goes to Lair. Second 100 gas goes to Metabolic Boost. And then you just drone, 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 drone. Get your second gas. I'm surprised we don't have second gas yet. Usually this third hatch indicates a lot of mutas, but it's hard to get 900 gas off of one gas while the spire is being built, especially if you're getting metabolic boost as well, right? Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong about the time. Oh, there we go. So Extractor is coming in. Jadong's fine, everyone. He knows what he's doing. This is not me backseat gaming him and being correct about anything. So a bit of a 1-1-1 one, one, one build here, right? Barracks, factory, starport. Intriguing. Intriguing on the fast star port here. Could be a two port Wraither. We'll see if a second port gets built. I don't know. This academy indicates that probably not. A couple lings poke up to see what's going on, but it's a nice little wall. Marine bodies and a supply depot. But enough marines to be just no. That's a no sign for those lings to get out of there. So, gas, 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 gotta step on the gas, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. gas, 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 mm -hmm. nope, barracks, barracks, dropship, maybe a wraith? A Valkyrie. Okay. Look at me not even considering the possibility of a Valkyrie. They're so rare in this game. Cool. It's a Valk to help deal with the Mutalisks, of which seven are on the way, plus one flyer tax is getting research, which means a lot of commitment to Mutalisks. So like when Protoss get plus one for their Corsairs, a lot of Corsairs are coming. So how many Mutas was he able to make? Is he able to make nine? It is just the seven. I didn't miss any. Scans in, sees the macro hatch, says, okay. Okay. Mm. So Valkyrie comes in. Those little rockets, man. They put work in. Jadong's like, I don't know about this. Who makes a Valkyrie? Seriously. Well, Flash does. I think of all the players I've ever cast, I think Flash makes the more most Valkyries against Zerg than anyone I've ever cast before. By that I mean there's like three casts of Flash where he's done this. One from Ample, I want to say. There was a really great Ample game where he had Valkyries against Zerg. That was cool. Ooh, there's that, uh, there's that island map game between Zelos and Day9 from 2004? Definitely Valkyries in there too. So Scourge trying to connect on the Valks. A uh, bit of a Marine Medic push out here. Dude, wiping out that third base maybe just wins you the game. Yep. How many ZVTs have we seen where the Zerg player just straight up loses their third base and then they GG? Or maybe they don't, but they're so behind it's not even cool. Why are you... He doesn't want a base race is the thing. He knows that Jadong's moving out here, so he's like, I don't want a base race. Dude. Valkyries! All the Marines are dead. The Mutas are dead, but nice little Scourge snipe. All the Mutas are dead. It's 50 to 37 supply in favor of Flash. He's like, can I? Can I? He's like, I don't know if I can. No. Four Marines is not really enough to move out with, but reinforcing group of six Marines, maybe. Maybe. Scans in to see what's what. More Lings are up ahead. Mm, just Zerglings, though? No Mutas? That's right, no Mutas, because we're not making Mutas today. We're done with those. They're all dead. Getting Flyer Carapace for the Scourge now. Ooh, yeah, Stim is done. Ooh, yeah. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Wipe out, wipe out that third base, man. You can do it. Oh, Zerglings, not enough Lings. Not enough Lings to wipe out that Marine group. Enough back home to defend. Yeah. Any, no, no alert to this third base is dead. Okay, so like that's it, right? We're done? 
I mean, Jadong's not going to immediately GG. All these drones up here, too. Did that Marine get killed by a drone? Embarrassing, sir. It's a good thing you're dead. All right. So, uh, Flash. Beautiful play. Valkyries, Marines, Medics. Completely shuts down everything Jadong wants to do here in the early game. Lurkering up here, so you can expand down here for a third. Yeah. So Jadong trying to get a new third base in the bottom right. I don't know. I've never. He's got a hive, by the way. Really fast hive. Couple vultures out. Is it a mech transition? That's definitely vehicle weapons. Upgrade, but no additional factories seem to exist. Vultures getting up that ramp, getting away from the lurkers and just getting some damage done on this third hatch. Yeah, man. So I can't remember a game where a third player has lost their third, but immediately gotten it back in a TVZ. It seems something like that doesn't happen. Vultures reposition. Valkyrie prepared. Four kills on this Valkyrie, not sharing any kills with her friend over there at all. Spider Mine's all up in the third base of Jadong. He's not happy about that, but oh, we're gonna drop dudes in. Okay, and he can drop them back here because the Spider Mines protect him from the lurkers coming up this way. Oh. Oh. Third base on the way from Flash. Third base kind of exists. But for how long? Say the Marines with their no attack upgrades coming in because getting vehicle weapons instead. Oh, heck. Lurker down. Extractor. Nope. Drones. Nope. Nidus. Nidus. Got it. But a defiler comes out. Dies! Throws down a Dark Swarm. Spider Mine's getting connections inside that Dark Swarm, too. Extractor maybe going down would be good. Pulling back. Reinforcements coming in here. Replacement Nidus. Trying to come up, but it takes a minute. You got to make the one and then make the other. They don't come up at the same time. Dude, I'd like... Flash is all. My life for a siege tank. Just one siege tank is all. Ooh, nine mutas coming in. And additional factories on the way. It is a uh, mech transition or some kind of a hybrid, maybe. Dark Swarm is up. Kill it. Kill the lurkers with fire. Ugh, friendly fire hits there. And that lurker doesn't even die. Neither does this one. Okay, that. Oh, vultures are like, we're on it. Got it. Everybody evac. Yeah, Flash has this game won. If your third base is dead at 12 minutes, no way, Jose. No way, Jose. Flash has this in the bag. He's transitioning into mech, too. Sort of. He's still making marines, but he's getting mech upgrades. And not infantry upgrade. Oh, spider mine connection. And these mutos are gonna clear everything up. Okay. Where are your Valkyries? They're not here, that's for sure. Intercepting, kind of. This whole group's gonna die. Saw that coming. He's like, well, I've got uh, the carapace upgrade for mutos. Nice irradiate, though. The split, double irradiate. Oh no. The split was not great. A lot of injured mutas in here.
Third base is alive. This is scrappy, but dude, look at this. Fourth base up from Flash. Jadong's just kind of on three bases. It's 65 to 49. Workers in favor of our Terran right now. As that That's the sound I make when I'm down that many workers to my Terran opponent. Yeah, yeah. Spider Wines making sure a fourth base is not easy. Spider Wines making sure a move out is not easy. Vultures are like. We can... T oh, you can't expand here. But we're going to kill you before you can discover that. Yeah, these medics are... Run! Run, medics! Drag these lings into the spider mines. Is that... Blah, blah, blah. Good spider mine hits. Dude, expanding again? Expanding again. <sighs> Ultralis Cavern on the way. The Lings have one armor. They're working on plus one attack here. I just economically, this is not making any sense for Jadong at all. Not even the smallest amount of sense you could ever possibly ask for. Okay, Ling kind of denying this base is cool. Adrenal's done, at least. But it's 161 to 99 supply, and I just... When you're down that much to flash, you're not having a good time. is just not happening. Sorry, Jadong, I love you, but once your third base died... Look how the vultures are like, screw your dark swarm, we're gonna take down your hatchery, we don't care. Spider mines, you're gonna lay those suckers too. Ah, kill yourself along with all the lings. Vulture pilots don't care. That's yeah, true, they don't. Science vest sold. One connection, not two. Siege tank count nuts. Oh, a queen is on the way. Are you surprised by all of these siege tanks, Jadong? Seems like perhaps you are. Because, um, made a queen, but I don't think Spawn Broodling is an option here. Drops? Drop, 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 drops? No? Just overlords. Okay. Fake drops. Valkyrie still alive, still got those four kills. Scourge, no connections. Dark Swarm up. 195 to 122 supply. I think for Flash to lose this game at this point, he'd have to fall asleep at his keyboard, develop some quick onset narcolepsy. That's not happening. These mutas are like, we feel helpless. We'll kill a barracks. That will make us happy. It will not make you happy, no. Yeah, this is a tough contain. These lings. It's good dark swarms and everything. Ah, but the vultures get back in. Snipe a defiler. That defiler is very close to death, too. It just doesn't know it yet. Oh, man. Plus two vultures. I mean, they're just here to kill lings. Good dark swarm, though. Really good dark swarm. Flash is expanding up here now. La, 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 la. Kind of playing with his food. Five kill Valkyrie. GG! And Flash gets it in 18 minutes. Ties the series up one to one. Yeah. I, I just, I feel. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just feel like once your third base goes down, the Terran will win, right? Good job, Flash. Valkyries, we got tanks, we got vultures, we've got marines and defilers, and that was great.
Nice little mech transition there for our mech fans. They are so happy. Terran fans are so happy right now. All right, so we got a game three coming next. <sighs> All the pressure's up, man. This is the best of one now. 89,000 points to 85,000 points. Terran gets that win. Two to one kill death ratio. That's what you want to see. Really what you want to see. And then resources, 35,000 to 31,000. Yeah. If you're a, a Zerg player and you get outspent by 4,000 resources in 18 minutes and it's a Terran and the Terran is Flash, just GG. And that's what happened. Just GG. All right. Game two's in the books. Game three is coming next. Let's go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. Game number three is on Eclipse. Top right, Zerg. Bottom left, it is Terran. Game three of a best of three. All the bragging rights are on the line here. So, it's a two-player map, so Terry knows where the Terran player is. <sighs> and, uh... Yeah, Jadong man, don't let your third base go down that early to a Terran player. <laughs> yeah, that mech was almost just inconsequential, right? It was kind of like, huh? <laughs> whatever. Okay, walling off down low here on Eclipse. This is kind of like Third World, except everyone can access both sides of the map, no problem. It still kind of has the uh, dual aspects to its aesthetic, but the access is not a thing. What is this drone doing? Hello, drone. I guess it really just doesn't want to die to any shenanigans today from Flash. Wants to know exactly what's going on starting at minute one. This is really early for a scouting drone. You really don't have to do this. But do this, he is. This is not a proxy hatch. That would be... I would love a proxy hatch. Holy crap. I would greatly and happily enjoy a proxy hatch up here somewhere. Like, Flash would shut it down, but... It would be cool. He's gonna... Bl okay, then you can also block the construction of the command center, which is fun. But the SCV wins this fight straight up. Because it does not have auto-regenerative healing properties like a drone does. So it has to give extra HP makes it a better fighter but this this delay by jadong is pretty sick gotta admit ah oh, gets it down that is that was close close to not being gotten down so beautiful stuff hatch first and wall that is going on jadong and fast third Ooh, three hatch before pool yes yes three hatch before pool zerg fans happy this is so gutsy. It is so dangerous, though. That's why the drone, he's like, if this is a two-racks opening, I 100% am not going to go three-hatch before pool. But it was a fast expand, so I feel safe going three-hatch before pool, and I feel great about going three-hatch before pool. Dude, that's not good for... That's not good for Flash. He can't do anything to shut this down. His barracks is so... Actually, was that a command center first? Okay. That was even more than a fast expand. That was a CC first play by Flash. Look at me paying attention to the command center being blocked and forgetting to notice there wasn't a barracks anywhere yet. Okay. All right. Yeah. So a three hatch before pool is almost a necessity against a command center first. Like, if you don't go three hatch before pool and your opponent goes three the command center first, you're behind. So, good. Jadong's happy about this. SCV says, mm-hmm, yes. Any lings out I should worry about? Uh, no. No, there are not, Steve. I guess as long as we're rattling off uh, different things you should know about the channel, you can also support me out on Patreon.com slash Falcon Paladin and PayPal. You go to PayPal and just uh, you can donate directly to me at falconpaladin at gmail.com. Some people prefer to do that. And it is the highest percentage of your money will get directly to me that way. Or as we go through Patreon or YouTube, it is a certain amount that is taken as a percentage because they're facilitating the transfer, right? 
Uh, PayPal does take theirs, but it's just the lowest amount compared to the other two. Um, Patreon, I do have a grandfathered amount. Like, newer people that have shown up to Patreon have a worse split. Yeah. So they changed it back in 2019, but if you were there before, then it's, uh, I think it's 5%, so that's not bad. That's not bad. I really feel like I should know what that is <laughs> off the top of my head. But yeah, PayPal is great, and some people have used that recently, and I really appreciate it, so. Ooh, just straight mech opening. All right, mech fans are like, let's go. Straight mech opening from Flash here. Like, everyone's going SK Terran, and Flash is like, nah. We're gonna get tanks, we're gonna get super cool Goliaths. Everybody loves a Goliath, right? Heck yes, they do. They like it a lot. Ling's popping to see what's going on, and they're like, can we take down? No. Not with a vulture back here, we can't. Caron boost, because how do you deal with the opening of Mutalisks? If you're going mech, Caron booster. Macro hatch here too, interesting. He doesn't really need it, because he's going to have three hatches, but I guess this allows this hatch to be used for drones. Another macro hatch. Dude, this is one of the more macro-oriented openings I've seen from a Zerg player in a ZBT in a while, and it's Jadong. That's what we love about it. That's what we love about it. I wonder if Jadong is going to go for the uh, the Muta opening into like the Hydro Ling Defiler play that we saw him use against Flash in that game a couple weeks ago. Which is, I don't know, feels like it's kind of becoming the meta. It doesn't mean it's being used all the time. Alright, Burrow. I love a Burrow. You know how Falcon feels about Burrow being researched at all, for any reason, at any time. It's good. It forces the Terran to burn scans, looking for lings inside their main base, or like, to just throw down a command center somewhere, burn a scan for that. It's less intel they're getting, because a burrowed ling can be so annoying. So, Mute is in production. They see the Goliaths and say, oh, that's what this is, okay. No, hey, 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 do not donate. Do not donate a Goliath to the cause. You knew those were there, Jadong. That was sloppy, sir. I love the mix up though, right? I love just the mix of strategies here. Game one was a super aggressive Terran. This Marine Medic opening. Game two was this Valkyrie Marine Medic opening into mech. And then this is straight mech opening in game three. This is great. Super, super fun. Ah, Burrowed Ling right here. Love it. Love the Burrowed Ling. Yep, working on Ion Thrusters. 1-1 one, one for his mech. Zerg players is going Mutalisks. Mutaling. How you want to do this. Especially if you can get that Carapace upgrade in. This takes a very long time for the Zerg, uh, the Mutalisk upgrades to come in. Okie doke. We're going for it. Is there are there enough mutalisks to do this? It looks like there are. It looks like there are enough mutas. Okay, so the early attack gets completely demolished. But keep in mind, Flash still has a second base. He's still got a bunch of Goliaths back home that he did not rally up to die with their friends. These dudes are alive for some reason. I guess all the Goliaths ran out and left them behind, but the mutas didn't come back to kill them, so that's nice. Who is this? Uh, Hydralisk Den? Ah, Hydra Den.
Hydra's trade pretty well against Goliath's two. Just if this tank starts showing up, then it gets a bit of a rough go for them. This fourth base at nine minutes is sick. Yeah, I think Jadong's way ahead. Wiping out that first attack is a really good indicator that things are going pretty swell for you. Scans in, Jadong does, sees no hive, sees the macro hatch, says okay. Doesn't see the Hydra Den because it's at the third. Mutas come darting into the main base with their carapace upgrade. They decide not to try to engage here. They're taking hits. Like a lot of hits. All right, well, we can take down a barracks again for self-esteem reasons more than anything else. Hmm, maybe not. This is a lot of investment into Mutalisks. because I don't think they're paying for themselves. Got a Hydralisk Den on the way. I mean, Hydras are on the way. We know about the Hydra Den, obviously. Pneumatized Carapace coming in. Just really going mass Goliath right now. 1-1 one -one upgrades with 2-2 two -two coming in quickly. See, trying to land your third base, and there's a Ling here. Aw, oh, so annoying. Ah, oh, Sabri's in the Science Vessel to clear it out. That's all you need. You don't need to burn a scan at all. Yudas jump back into the natural base. They're willing to fight these missile turrets. And a full evac of SCVs from the natural base. They do have a third base to transfer up to, so it's not a complete waste of time. But, ugh. Goliaths have to come back. SCVs do come back. Some of them do. Actually, all of them do. None of them transfer up to that third base at all. But yeah, Jadong's got a fourth base. He's got a ton of Hydras. He is down in overall supply, but a lot of that is SCVs for Flash. So army value-wise, it's looking pretty good for the Zerg player. That plus two Carapace cannot come any sooner for Jadong. But again, the Carapace upgrade just takes forever. Forever. Darting on in. Mutalisks fighting. Hydra's fighting. Defensive Matrix up. Scourge do take down the Science Vessel. That's a good pickup. And the Hydra stutter stepping forward, which tells you they're feeling confident about their position. And I think that's it. The third base is going to die. Not enough tanks to stop these Hydras. Not even close. Not even though they have 2-2 two, two, and these Hydras have 0-0. Zero, zero. Too many Hydras, man. Yeah, SCVs are here to fight. Fight for their right to party. I don't know. Maybe Flash is okay. I see a lot of lost a lot of SCVs here, but he held on to the third. Okay, round eight of Hydras, round two, round two of Hydras is here. Siege tank gets some decent hits off. Overlords here in case there are cloaked wraiths to deal with. I guess I don't know. And GG, beautiful play there from Jadong. He wins the best of three. Two games to one. Excellent, excellent job by him. And he's still in the game. There we go. There he leaves. So well done, Jadong. Flash. Try to get uh, try to get the command center first play, but that three hatch before pool from Jadong really paid off. Got that fourth base up. Got the upgrades on his Mutas. Got a ton of Hydras easily too. And then Hydra Muta against the Goliaths wins that battle. Shuts down, shuts down the third and Flash doesn't want to play it out. So really great. Really great best of three there. Flash gets a win in which he does shut down that third base of Jadong really early and then goes into mech and just crushes. And that was really good to see. But Jadong ends up taking two games here compared to the one for Flash and is our victor. So well done, Zerg. Again, Flash is rusty. We'll see how he is after a couple months of continuous laddering. But 67,000 points to 62,000 points for Jadong. Kill death ratio is way too close for comfort there. If you're a Terran player, and then resources spent, outspending by about 2,000 resources in 12 minutes. That'll get it done. That's what a three hatch before pool will do for you. So, GG, well done, Jadong. Zerg fans happy. I think Terran fans are pretty happy about game two. So everybody walks away with a certain level of uh, just, just happy vibes going, I think. We're just happy to see Flash's back too, right? That's another thing, so... Awesome, and that's a GG. So that's going to be it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered and a full best of three today. 
go ahead at that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. <laughs>